tonight. It's Madden NFL football. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, it's been 12 of the longest months ever since Super Bowl 54 took place downstate in Miami, and the world has certainly changed an awful lot in that time. But tonight, for a few hours, we bring the focus back to the greatest spectacle the sporting world has to offer. Super Bowl 55 from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, and what a matchup we have in store. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs taking on the champions from the NFC, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. And Charles, we know how difficult it is to go back to back in the NFL. Few have succeeded in doing so. But here are the Kansas City Chiefs, champions of the AFC yet again, trying to lift that Lombardi trophy. Remember, this is a franchise that played in the first ever Super Bowl. Then they ended up winning Super Bowl IV, which was 50 years prior to winning Super Bowl 54. They didn't want to wait another 50 years, so they went ahead and made it back this year. What a great run for this Kansas City team. Meanwhile, the Buccaneers are back in the Super Bowl for just the second time in franchise history. I know one thing, they'd love a repeat of that first appearance. Would they ever? That was 2003 in San Diego, and it was Super Bowl 37. They were the underdogs coming in against the Oakland Raiders, and they flogged the Raiders in that game, 48 to 21. You know what I remember most about that? John Gruden was the head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but he'd previously been the head coach of the Oakland Raiders. And during practice leading up to the game, he would play scout team quarterback and tell the defense all the characteristics and mannerisms of the Raiders quarterback, Rich Gannon, and had his defense totally prepared. And boy, did they play well and won their first Super Bowl title. After all the talk, it's time for football, and here we go. Super Bowl 55 is underway. Here's Nicole Hardman. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Nicole, time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. We know the arm strength is certainly there. He's got a big-time cannon for an arm. And that's not a surprise. He's the son of a former major league pitcher, so the bloodlines come into play. The biggest question for Patrick Mahomes, can he harness that big arm, develop the touch that's needed, and carry his team towards the playoffs? Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A gain of nine yards and the first down Chiefs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They go play fake. Mahomes going to let one fly for Robinson. That's going to be caught. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. 
So a long play for our first points in the Super Bowl. No doubt about it. And what we see here is something that we saw all year long from them. The ability to strike from anywhere on the field. How about the way they got it started in this one? Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. taken about a yard deep and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. always fun to get a peek at tom brady as he gets in place to command this offense for tampa bay what i enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing, they really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. Here's the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Well, he's got it going early in this one. That's the Shady McCoy. That's vintage right there, right? Breaking tackles, creating explosive runs. And if they don't take care of this early, look out. This guy's got a big, big day. You know where he got that nickname Shady, by the way? I know you're going to educate me on it. Help me out. Mama. Mama gave him that name when he was a youngster. And if Mama named him Shady, we're going call him Shane. Absolutely. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. But it's going to be second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Brady. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Nice job there utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. Shotgun now for Brady. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Chiefs seven, Buccaneers nothing. Wait, 
Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. From the gun, it's Brady. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Brady to throw. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left, didn't get there anyway. It's no good, and this score will stay right where it is. Offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. It was a kicker from that distance, 56, 57 yards. So many things you got to worry about, but I am a little surprised he didn't get it there. Yeah, with the way kickers are nowadays, we're surprised anything under 65 that it doesn't get at least to the crossbar. But remember this, you have to drive it a little bit lower in order yeah. to make that distance, and you also have to be worried about the interior rush that they can get their hands on it. So that's why those stronger kickers nowadays who can pop it up in the air and still travel and carry it, that's what you're looking for. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Two minutes remain in this opening half of Super Bowl 55. A reminder coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. A quick slant to Hill. Seven yards there and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Mahomes now on first down. That one complete to Hill. Seven yards to pick up there. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Receivers head out right, one to the left on second and three. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 22-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. <laughs> On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. Now another timeout called for by the offense. 
as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Now it's Mahomes again. This will be caught at about the six. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. It's been all passing all the time on this drive. Five for five, and now first and goal. Feels like a case of until they stop us, we might as well keep running the offense that we like to run. Don't change up and do something different just because you think you need to. So much for the best laid plans and best design plays that was good coverage along the sidelines no place for that one to get in there it sails incomplete a line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal and again it's Mahomes and that is caught by Watkins for a chief touchdown a five-yard touchdown catch, and the Chiefs add on to their lead. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. Look, that's what the technology is for, and this touchdown will count. Butker now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drives seven plays in length, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line to the same result, and he opted for the touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. On first and ten, here's Brady. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now Brady. This one complete to Scott Miller. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Hey, 
Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hash, this from 46. Gay's kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to three. 14, Buccaneers three. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. So it's halftime here on Sports Grandest Stage in the Super Bowl. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to an excellent first half from the gunslinger, Patrick Mahomes. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams ready after the halftime spectacle, and we are back underway in Super Bowl 55. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Bucs take over first and 10. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. They trail now 14-3, an 11-point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. complete and down right around the 32 yard line four yards on the pickup they'll contain him to just four second down they'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here and if it's a long play so be it but the main goal get a couple of first downs run some plays run some clock allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score throwing again on second down brady He's got his big tight end, Gronkowski. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. Jones. 
And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. Here's Bradley Pinion now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. In his own end zone, it's Mahomes. Gets this one to Hill. And they're going to get this all the way out past the 20. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. <laughs> Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now they'll toss it out right to Williams. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Again, 11 on the play. First down, Kansas City. here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, that was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll try and run down some clock with Williams. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. And it's third down. And Super Bowl 55 down to the final two minutes.
So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. So first and 10 now from the 30. Williams. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. See if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. Fourteen yard line, second and eleven. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 11 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. I don't know why we did it, but we went to their final walkthrough for some reason. And what did we see? Their last play and walkthrough was taking a knee and celebrating winning a Super Bowl. They wanted that visualization. They did it for real. Yeah, they just scripted it out. Defense can't stop the clock. And they can watch the final seconds tick. A 22-yard attempt. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. Buccaneers three. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports